Hello and welcome to the Bible Flicks. My name is Zuzu and today I'm going to read from the Biggest Story Bible Storybook written by Kevin D. Young, illustrated by Don Clark. Chapter 6, The Father of Nations, Genesis 11 through 13. Speaking of nations, God had a plan for them, an interesting plan, a bit surprising. Like most of God's plans, it started in a place called Ur, which rhymes with fur, ruled by people called the Chaldeans, which rhymes with, um, Chaldeans. There was a man there named Abram. He wasn't a particularly great guy. In fact, he worshipped false gods, just like everyone else in Ur. He had a wife named Sariah, who was barren. That means she wasn't able to have kids which probably made Abram and Sarai very sad. So there he was, a long way off in Ur, off the Chaldeans, worshipping the wrong gods, with a wife who couldn't get pregnant. And you know what God did? He told Abram the hardest, strangest, most amazing things he had ever heard. He said, I want you to leave your country and leave your family. I want you to go to a new place, and I'm not going to tell you where it is yet. But just trust me, it'll be okay. Actually, it will be better than okay, because I'm going to take care of you. And when God says he's going to take care of you, he means it. He told Abraham he would bless him and bless everyone who blessed him. And not only that, God promised to curse everyone who cursed Abram. Basically, God told this guy who didn't deserve anything that he was going to give him everything. He even promised to make Abram a great nation. That's right. The 75-year-old man with a barren wife was going to have as many children and grandchildren and great-great-grandchildren as there are dusts on the earth and stars in the sky. And if you've ever looked up on a clear night or looked down on the shelves in your house, you know that's a lot of stars and a lot of dust. God was going to save the nation by calling a childless man from a pagan nation and blessing all the nations through him. Sounds about right. Prayer. We thank you, God, for all your promises and all the blessings that are ours in Jesus. Amen. The end. Thank you for watching. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's Bible Flick story. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. Tune in next time. Bye!